Hello again guys, this is Puya. In this um, lecture, we're going to talk about tree traversals. And um, similar to what we saw for linked list, that we wanted to check every node, we wanted to search every node, we wanted to print every node, we had to traverse through uh, all the nodes. So we want to see how we can tra traverse through all the nodes of a tree. Okay, so many binary tree operations are done by performing a traversal of the binary tree. We're basically going through every node. In a traversal, each element of the binary tree is visited exactly once. During this visit, of uh, during the visit of an element, um, all actions that we want to do, like it can be making a clone, display, evaluate, or like other things, are done with respect to this element. Okay, there are mainly three. Uh, traversal methods um, there are other traversal methods as well but these three are uh, the most important ones um, in the in order traversal we traverse so in order means that the the node that we want to traverse through it's going to be traversed between its left and right child so in order traversal it's also called left node right traversal lnr the node it's going to be traversed between its left child and right child so we traverse the left subtree then visit the root node then the traverse the right subtree okay so left subtree first then the node then the right subtree in the pre-order traversal, right, it's also like n called node left right. So first we visit the node, the root node or any node, and then traverse through the left subtree, then the uh, then the right subtree. So it's node uh, left and then right. For every node, that's going to be the case. Okay. And in the post-order traversal, which is going to be left-right node, we traverse the left subtree first, then the right subtree, then visit the node. Okay. So uh, let's say that if we want to display all the elements of uh, the tree, like all the ele node elements of the tree in, in order traversal, um, all the nodes in the left subtree of every node it's going to be displayed before the node and all the elements of the nodes on the right subtree of every node it's going to display it after after it so first display the left subtree then the node then the right subtree in the pre-order tra traversal we do node first then the left subtree, then the right subtree. In the post-order traversal, it's going to be first like displaying all the nodes in the left, sub tree, left subtree, then the right subtree, then the node itself. So this is going to be LNR, this is going to be NLR, and this is going to be LRN. Okay. Uh, so in the pre-order traversal, a traversal visits the node of a tree in a systematic manner. In a pre-order traversal, a node is visited before um, its descendant, right? So, so um, first we visit the node, and then the left subtree, then the right subtree, okay? So here, like if you want to do pre-order traversal for this tree, Okay, so here, this is a node. So we display this one. Let's say like we want to display uh, all the element, all the elements of the nodes. So this is gonna be visited first. Then we go through this node, right? So we visit this. So like first node, then we go through its left subtree, right? So we visited this one. This is first. Then we go through here. Right, visit this one, then we go to its left subtree. Visit this one, right? Right, it doesn't have any left or right subtree, right? 
So now we visited the left subtree of this node. So the next thing is go through its right subtree. So visit this node. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we visited all the nodes in the left subtree of the root. We can go through its right subtree. So we start from this one. We uh, visit this one. We display this one. Right. We go through its left subtree. Okay, so we did node, then left, now we do right. Okay, so in the pre order traversal, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, post order traversal. Post order traversal, it means that uh, we visit the node after all its descendants. Let's say, like, if we want to display all the nodes, of a tree right all its descendants are going to be displayed all the descendants of every node it's going to be displayed be, uh, before it right so first the left sub three nodes then the right sub three nodes then the node itself and this is true for every node okay so here let's just start from the root okay so we can display it we can display it because we have to first display all its left uh, subtree nodes. So if we go through this one again, we can't display it, right? So because we have to display all its descendants first, right? So then we go to its left subtree. Okay, we uh, this one doesn't have any left or right subtree. So here we can display this one right so for this node we displayed its left node or left subtree now we can go to its right subtree and its right subtree again like only has one child or like only has one node so uh, then we can just like stop here so like we can display it one two three okay so we displayed all the left subtree nodes of the root. We did one, two, three. Now we have to display all the right subtree nodes. Okay. So now we go through here. This one, again, we can display it because first we have to display all its left subtree nodes and then all its right subtree nodes, then the node. Okay. So we go to the left subtree. Okay, so here this is a very basic tree, so like it stops right here, it doesn't have any children, so like we stop here, we display this one, right, we did the left subtree of this node, we can now um, uh, this go through its right subtree, again its right subtree only has one node, right, it doesn't have any, uh, any children, this is a leaf node, so we can display this one. So for this node, we visited uh, its left subtree and right subtree. So now we can visit it. Like now we can display, uh, we can go through uh, the node itself, right? So, and then, right, for the root itself, we did, um, we visited all its left subtree nodes and all its right subtree nodes. So we, we can visit the root node here now okay so you see like it's gonna be one two three then four five six then seven okay if you pay attention here in the pre-order traversal we display or visit the root first in the post order traversal the root is displayed or visited last okay so this is uh, the pre-order and post-order traversal. Now, the in-order traversal, the node is going to be visited or displayed after all its left subtree nodes and before all its right subtree nodes. Okay? So, then we start from here. This is the root. We always start from the root. Okay? Can I display the root? No, because I have to first display all its left subtree nodes, right? So I go left. I go to the left subtree. 
I go through here. Can I display this one? No, I can't because first for this node, I have to display all its left sub three nodes. So I go left. Okay. Now this, this um, left sub tree of this node is, on, is a leaf, like only has one node, right? So we got to a leaf, right? So we are done, right? It doesn't have any left or right um, sub trees. So now I can display this one. Okay, so now for this node, I displayed all the nodes to its left subtree. Now this is done, the left subtree is done. Now I can visit the node itself. Okay, so this is one, then this goes two. Now I should go to the right subtree of this node. So I go to the right. Can I display this node now? I can't. Why? Because first I have to display all the nodes in its left subtree. Okay. Okay. So like I go left and again, I get to a leaf, right? It doesn't have any left or right child. So this is done. This is one, two, three. Now that I displayed all the left subtree nodes of this node, I can display this one, right? So I did all the left subtrees. Now I can display the node. I can visit the node. Okay, and once this is done, I go to its right subtree. Its right subtree also also has only one node, doesn't have any left or right child. So then this is like visited, this is displayed. So here, like we did one, two, three, four, five, right? So for the root, we went through, we traversed through all the nodes in its left subtree, right? So we did all the left subtree nodes. Now I can display the node itself. Okay. So this is going to be number six, the sixth node to be traversed. Now I have to go to the right subtree. I go to the right subtree. I get to this node, right? This is still an internal node, right? Can I display it? No, I can't. Why? Because I have to display all the left subtree nodes first. So I go left, again, this is a leaf, right? So that's it, like this is gonna be stopped at this point. So like here, like we display this one, we displayed all the, <clears throat> excuse me, all the uh, left subtree nodes of um, this node, right? So like this is done, left is done. Now I can display the node itself, this is eight, right? Then I go through its, <clears throat> right subtree right again it only has one node so i stop here this is going to be the last node to be traversed through okay so you see that like all the um all the nodes to the left of any node are going to be traversed through first before that node all the nodes to its right are going to be traversed through next right that's the case for all the nodes Okay, so this is uh, pre-order traversal, post-order traversal, and the in-order traversal. Okay, uh, in pre-order traversal, root is visited first. In, in order traversal, root is visited in between left and right subtree. Okay, that's why it's called N. In post order, root is visited last. That's why it's like post. And this is also true for any other node. Okay, so this is basically um, naturally or inherently, it's a recursive uh, algorithm. All of these three are natural, naturally recursive algorithm, because like. Like you basically, you're making the problem smaller and smaller until you get to the base case, which is a leaf. Okay, we're gonna see the implementation of all these traversal methods, um, like in this lecture. But like you can see that like inherently or naturally, all of these traversal methods are recursive, and we're gonna see. Um, like through an example, if the binary tree contains an arithmetic expression, it's in order traversal, 
in order traversal, it's going to represent the infix notation. It's pre-order traversal, it's going to have the pre-order notation, a prefix notation. And it's post-order traversal, it's going to give us the postfix expression. Okay, so this is uh, one thing that we're going to see through an example. And in, in the next lecture, I'm also going to show you that in binary search trees, the binary search tree, we, we saw what a binary search tree. A binary search tree is a binary tree that um, any node to the left, uh, in, in the left subtree of the node, it's going to have a smaller value than the node. And any node to... Uh, in the right subtree of the node, it's going to have greater value than the node, right? We assume that we have only unique values. We don't have any duplications. In BSTs, in binary search trees, in order traversal provides the elements in the ascending order. So we basically provide the elements in a sorted manner. Okay. There are other traversal methods, like we have reverse pre-order, reverse in-order, reverse post-order. Um, but like the main three standard, words, standard ones are um, in-order, pre-order, and post-order. Okay. So let's go through this example. If I want to do pre-order traversal, pre-order means node then left, then right. Okay, so then first thing that we're going to see in the pre-order is going to be 17, right? We go to the left, then 41. We go to the left, then 29, right? Right, so we did the nodes, right? 17, 41, 29, okay? Uh, we, did this, uh, we did the node. This one doesn't have any left or right, so we stop, okay? Um, now that we did the node, right, um, so we can go back, right, this is pre-order, we can go back, right, and we go to the, um, so like for this node, we did uh, the left, right, we now can go to the right subtree, right, for this one, we visit 6, right, so now for this root, we visited the node itself, we visited all its left subtree nodes, we go to the right now, okay? Now we go here, like first we visit 9, so we display 9, then we go left, we display 81, this one doesn't have any left or right, so we stop. Then for this node, we did its left subtree, we go to the right subtree, and this is done. You can see that in the pre-order, the root is always the first one. Let's do the in order, in order would be left, then the node, then the uh, right. Okay, so that's going to be for all the nodes. So if I want to do in order, like we again, like a start from the root, right, but we can display it because first we have to do all the nodes to its left, right? So we go to the left subtree, we get to this node again, we can display it. Why? because we have to display all the nodes to its left. So we go to the left subtree of this node. We get here. Now this one doesn't have any left uh, subtree. Okay, so um, we can just like display 29 now, right? Doesn't also have any, 20, any, any right subtree. Okay, so for this node, we visited all the nodes to its left subtree. So we did this one, 29. Uh, so we did the left. Now we can display the node because it's left, node, then right. We did all the, no all the nodes to its left. So we can now go 41. Then we go to its right subtree, right? We get to this node. This node doesn't have any left subtree. Okay, so it doesn't have any left child. Right, so now we can visit the node itself. So it's going to be 29, 41, 6. And this one also doesn't have any right child. Right, so now this is done. We visited all the nodes to the left of 17. So left, node, right, the left subtree is done. So we go to the 
node itself, so it's going to be 29, 41, 6, and now 17. Okay, 29, 41, 6, and 17. Now we can go to its right subtree. We get here, can I display it? No. Why not? Because first I have to display all the node to its left. So I go left. This node doesn't have any left chart, so I can display it now. So it's going to be 81 now. So 29, 41, 6, 17, 81. This is done. Doesn't have any right child, right? So all the nodes to the left of 9 has been visited, have been visited. So now we did 81. Now we can display 9 because we did all the left nodes. Now we can visit the node itself. L, N, right? So this is L. Now N is also done. We go to its right subtree. The right subtree also doesn't have any left node, right? So we can display 40 and it doesn't have any right child. So we stop here. So it's going to be 29, 41, 6, 17, 81, 9, 40. Okay. For the post order, for the post order, it's going to be left, right, then the node. Left right then the node so again we start from the root can i display it no because first i have to display all its descendants starting from the left subtree i go to the left subtree okay i can display it because i have to display all its descendants first right so i go left this one it's a leaf it doesn't have any descendants right so i can display it now so the first thing that we're going to display, it's going to be 29, right? We go back to this one. We did the left subtree of this node, right? It's L, R, N. So first I have to go through it. Now I have to go through its right subtree. So I go through its right subtree. It's a leaf again, right? It doesn't have any left or right child. So now I can display 6. It's going to be 29, 6. Now for this node, I did... Uh, both its left subtree nodes and right subtree nodes, so 29, 6. So L, R is done. Now I can display the node. So 29, 6, now 41. Okay. Now I come back to the root. I still cannot display it because I did all its left subtree descendants. Now I have to go through its right subtree. Okay, I go to its right subtree. Again, I can't do this one. I can't display this one because I have to display all its descendants first. I go left. This one doesn't have any descendants, so I can display 81. So you see it was 29, 6, 41. Now it's going to be 81. I go back to this node, right? I did all the nodes to its left. Now I can go through... I can traverse through all the nodes to its right. Again, this is also a leaf, so I can stop here. So it would be, again, 29, 6, 41. Now, 81, 40, I go back to this node. I did all its left and right uh, subtree nodes. Now I can display 9, right? So it was 29, 6, 41, 81, 49. Now for the root, I visited or I traversed through all the nodes to its left and all the nodes to its right. Now I can display the root. See, in the prefix, node is visited first or displayed first. And in the post, uh, sorry, in the pre-order, <coughs> root is uh, displayed first, but in the post order is displayed last. Okay. And Again, you saw that this is basically a recursive method, right? Because you, you can assume that like when you started from here, you went left. So you can ignore all of these nodes and you can think that like you only have this three. So you're basically doing traversal for this um, subtree, okay? And again, like you go like left and right, you would have like like you can just like do the traversal for the left or right subtree. So it's a recursive algorithm. Inherently, it's a recursive algorithm. If you want to find the um, just like the, uh, the, 
the order of the traversal in the pre-order, in-order, and post-order, right? If you don't want to implement it, but just like want to like see like like very easily like uh, which nodes are going to be visited or displayed first in e each of the pre-order, in-order, and post-order traversal. So there's a trick that you can do. It's just like um, have like a path like not not a tree path like let's say like a, a line that surround surrounds all the nodes of the tree something similar to this okay you start from the node and so start from the root and go through all the nodes like through this closed path until you go back to the node uh, the root okay if you have a pre-order traversal if you if you if you if you're on the left side of the node you display it if you're doing in order means that like if you're like at the bottom of the node you display it if you're doing post order means that you can only display it if you're on the right side of it okay so left bottom or right it's going to be pre in or post Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's do it for this one. Like if I want to do pre-order traversal very easily. Okay, so like I start from here. I'm on the left side of this one. So this goes first plus here cross multiplication, right? Because I'm on the left side of it on the, on the left side of it. I go here on I'm on the left side of this one. Okay, so it's going to be plus uh, multiplication two. I go here, I'm on the left side of this one, so display uh, minus sign. I go here, I'm on the left side of 5, I display 5. I go here, I'm on the left side of 1, I display 1. I go back here, I'm on the left side of cross, I pr uh, put cross, like or multiplication, and then 3, and then 2. So that was pre-order. If I'm doing in order okay i display or visit every node when i'm passing through its bottom okay so here okay i'm going through here going through here going through here now i'm at the bottom of this node so first thing that i'm going to display is going to be two then i'm at the bottom of this one it's going to be x or like cross or like multiplication then i go here i go here i'm at the bottom of this one so it's going to be two this one and then five. I'm at the bottom of this one. I'm gonna display the minus sign. I'm at the bottom of this one. I'm gonna display one. Go back. I'm at the bottom of this one. I'm gonna display the plus. I go here. I go here. I'm at the bottom of three. I'm gonna display three. I'm at the bottom of cross. I'm gonna display cross. I'm at the bottom of two. I'm gonna display two. Okay. And then I go back to the root. Okay. Um, in the post order, I'm going to display or visit the nodes when I'm on the right side of them. Uh, so like I start from here, go here, go here, go here, go here. I'm on the right side of two, I'm going to display. Okay. Here I go here, I go here, I go here, I go here, I go here. I'm on the right side of five, so I'm going to display. So it was two, five. Okay. Then I'm going to be on the right side of one, I'm going to display it. So it was two, five, one. Then I go here, I'm on the right side of minus. So two, five, one, minus. Go here, I'm on the right side of uh, the multiplication. So I display. I go here, go here. I'm on the right side of three, I'm going to display. Right side of two, display. Right side of cross, display. And then finally, right side of the root, display. Okay. So this is a trick that we can apply here. The same example, let's do it like using this trick. So if I'm doing pre-order, it's going to be left, in order, bottom, um, post order, right. If you are doing the <clears throat> pre-order, it's going to be 17 because I'm on the left side of it. 41, I'm on the left side of it. 29, on the left side of it. 6 I'm on the left side of it so 17 41 29 6 I go here 9 81 and 40 and I go back to the root let's do 
in order in order means that like we're gonna display the nodes when we are at the bottom of it so we start from here we start from here we start from here I'm at the bottom so 29 then 41 then 6 then 17 then 81 then 9 then 40 and everything is done if you are doing post order we're gonna display when we are at the right side of the node when we follow this um, like line or this path so here we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go I'm on the right side of 29 so 29 then 6 then 41 then 81 and 49 and eventually 17 okay um, one thing that uh, you can um, easily verify is that the traversal time it's going to be of big O notation n okay so we basically if you have n nodes uh, the traversal like any of these traversal method is going to be of big O notation and we're basically traversing through every node so like it's going to be of big O notation n okay so as an exercise or like as an example please do pre in and post order traversal for the following three okay that's up to you to do it i'm not going to do it another example do the pre-order post order and in order traversal for these ones okay and you will see that if you do the pre-order you would get the prefix notation for an arithmetic expression if you do in order you get the infix if you do post order, you get the post fix, right? So this is how we can represent arithmetic expressions in a binary tree. And using pre, in, and post order traversal, we can have pre, in, and post fix uh, expressions. Okay, another example for you, like this is like showing the length representation, like using uh, pointers, right? So want you to do like all of these three traversal methods for this example as well another example okay um, you can see that this one is a binary search tree because if you look at every node the nodes to its left subtree are smaller than the node and the nodes to its right subtree are bigger than the nodes. Like you can see that that's true for every node here. Let's do in order traversal for this node. Okay. We can use our trick. So in the in order traversal, if we have a path, right, like this. If you have a path, we're going to print when we are at the bottom of the node if we are following this so we go through here go through here we get the bottom zero then one then two then three then four then five then six then seven then eight then nine then ten and we're back okay so you, you see that if you have a binary search tree, if you do in order traversal, you would have all the elements in the ascending sorted order, right? You saw that it was from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? Um, this trick is like very good to verify, but um, I, I don't really like it, especially for novice programmers, because it doesn't give you the insight that you, you need to have uh, for all of these traversal methods. So try to do it like as we did it here before, like learning the trick, but then you can verify it using the trick, right? Um, if, if you follow the, the main definition of pre-order in order traversal, you will see like why this is naturally recursive. So these are some examples. So again, another example that you see like how we can have prefix, postfix, 
and in fixed notations of an arithmetic expression. Okay. Uh, now, if you wanna, um, if you wanna do implementation, if you wanna implement this, uh, like one thing that's very um, uh, like good to notice is that tree traversal is naturally recursive. Naturally recursive because um, subgraphs or subtrees are similar in character to the original graph, right? Like so, like we have like sub like a subtree is basically like a tree itself. Okay, subtrees are smaller, so like every time we're getting like we're doing the same thing for a smaller tree for a smaller structure. And we are guaranteed that eventually we get to a leaf, right? Because tree is acyclic, right? It's not, we don't have any loops, like So we get to a base case. That's a base case, okay? When we get to a base case, like, uh, we can stop, right? So that's why it's naturally recursive. So you can think of that. Like, if you want to, uh, like, do uh, traversal, right? Like, it's basically... Uh, you, you have like left subtree and right subtree and the node. So like you, um, like you, for example, if you want to do um, pre-order traversal, you visit the node, then you traverse through the left subtree and then traverse through the right subtree. Okay, because it's node then left right, right? If you wanna. Uh, do post order, okay? So means that okay, if you want to traverse through a tree, traverse through its left subtree first, traverse through its right subtree second, and then visit the root, okay? And similarly for in order, it's gonna be traversing through the left subtree, then visit the node, then go through the and then traverse through the right subtree okay so it obeys all the fundamental rules for recursion it has a base case uh, just like we, we have like re recursion you like making progress through recursion and um, we, we just like making like we, we don't have any duplicate recursive calls because like it's an acyclic uh, structure Right, so like we, we always have to have a base case like um, in recursion. You know, remember that like otherwise you're gonna have a stack overflow because your um, call a stack is basically getting filled, right? And like it occupies all the stack part of the memory, so you get a stack overflow. Okay, so this is like how we can implement in order, post order, pre order traversal. Okay, um, so it's very easy to implement it recursively, right? So um, you always remember that if you have a if you have a tree, you have the pointer that points to that tree, right? The 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 root of the tree. So you have the root pointer. So you pass the root pointer to the function, okay? If that pointer is not null. If that pointer is not null in the in order traversal, you call the same function for the left subtree. Okay, the left subtree we need we need a pointer that points to the root of the left subtree. We we, we do have it. It's right the the left child pointer of the root right so like that's what we do okay so basically dereference this pointer right and access its left child pointer okay then let's say like this is for displaying the um, all the nodes of a tree in the in order traversal so then we display the node or the root and then we call the same function for its right subtree, okay? Uh, to do that, we need to have the pointer that points the root of the right subtree. We do have it, right? Because we can dereference this one and find the right child pointer, which is like what we have here, okay? Uh, 
and for the post order just like the order of these three lines would be uh, different right so like first do the left subtree then the, do the right subtree then you can visit the root okay this is gonna do this is gonna be done recursively right until all the nodes are traversed through the same thing for pre-order first we visit the we visit the the root then the left subtree then the right subtree uh, one student asked me like um like here like let's say like in the in the let's say if i want to do post order traversal like how like do we have like how like how we get to this one without like um like printing all these values like basically we're going through like all these nodes but we don't print them like how is this happening if you remember in recursion right we have call stack right so all of these nodes are gonna be stored in the call stack right so they are already available in the memory right but um so we're gonna print them or we're gonna go through them we're gonna visit them we're gonna search them we're gonna traverse through them uh, when uh, appropriate according to the traversal method that we have like just remember that uh, how like how like recursion works and how all the local variables are gonna be stored in the stack right in a, in a call stack right so that's that's how the recur the, how these recursive functions work okay there's also um, a non-recursive algorithm using an actual stack right not like the implicit stack that we have through recursion you can actually have an explicit stack right and do pre-order post order in order uh, non-recursively okay you just like basically have your own stack and uh, you do like pushing and popping and uh, you can just do pre-order in order post order um, I have provided the pseudo code for them, but I want you to implement it yourself. I'll give you an assignment to do it. This is going to be a good uh, practice to work with stacks, okay? And also understand how the traversal of a tree works, okay? So this, this is like the pseudo code. It provides the algorithm for non-recursive traversal using uh, using stacks using explicit uh, stacks uh, you can implement it using C++ okay um, now this one is um, like basically like the next topic in this lecture is like how to actually form a binary tree if we have its traversals okay so if the traversals are given can we form the binary tree okay so let's see how that works so first of all some observations if the pre-order traversal is given the first node is the root if the post order traversal is given then the last node is the the last node is the root node okay and once the root node is identified all the nodes to its left subtree and the right subtree of the root node can be also identified okay um, so you can see that if we have pre-order or post-order we can identify the root and then we can also identify uh, its left or right subtree nodes um, using another traversal that we have so you can't form a binary tree if you only have one of these representation if you only have pre-order you can't form the binary tree if you have only post order you can't if you only have in order you can't right but if you have two of them we'll see how this works okay so let's see like if we if we have in order 
and pre-order traversal can be um, can be uh, construct a tree can we form the tree okay so let's 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 like go through this using an example let's see the the pre-order is given the in order sequence is also given okay remember that pre-order pre-order means note then left then right in order means left then the note then the right in the pre-order sequence we know that the root is going to be always the first element or the first node right so we know that this is our root a is our root okay now if we look at the in order sequence a is here right in the in order sequence we have left then node then right so we know that d b and e d b and e are to the left of a so are in the left subtree of a and f and c are on the right side of a okay and again this is again like it can it can be considered a recursive thing right so like here right so we we did a right if you look at the pre-order you see that we have b d and e here right b d and e right here which is on the left subtree of a okay right so in this left subtree which one do you think it's the root of this left subtree right the root is the first one right so b it's gonna be the root of this left um, subtree right okay and if you again go through uh, go through the in order sequence b is here d it's to its left and e it's to its right so we know that d is on the left side of b and e is to the right side of b right so we know that we have b here then d then e similarly for f and c here we have c and f right so we did all the left subtree nodes we have c and f right which one is the root of the right subtree of a is it c or f it's c because in the pre-order sequence it comes first right so c is the um the root of the right subtree of a okay now if you look at the in order sequence right f comes on the left side of f right so like you see that like in the <clears throat> excuse me in the in order sequence we have left then node then right right so like f is on the left side of c so we know that f is the left child of c Okay. so if you have in order and pre-order sequence we can construct the binary tree uniquely okay this can be done uh, recursively okay I have provided the uh, the code here for you right but I want you to um, like first have a, uh, have a try at it yourself right this is like you can see it's a uh, it's a, again like it's a recursive algorithm it's a recursive algorithm okay so here we provide the um, um, char character array of the in order sequence character array of the pre-order sequence and here just like it's just basically an int start and int end which are like basically the zero and length minus one okay it's like the starting index and the ending index so that's why like when you maybe call this one you can just like give them uh, default values or like you can just like provide zero for int start and length minus one for end okay and every time you call the same function you have to change the uh, int start and int end okay so basically 
um, like here like you remember that like when we wanted to do the the left sub tree like our end to start is now going to be one and our um, end is going to be this L this uh, index right and the same thing for CF CNF we start from here we end here okay so the algorithm is given here like this is like basically the algorithm like the implementation in C++ is given here but try to do it yourself um, right you can also like um, have a cat have a try at it non recursively like you can see like if you can do it non recursively using explicit stacks okay um, but just like I want to go to the next slide so we can also construct a binary tree from its post order and the in order okay so in the pre-order traversal right we knew that the first node is the root in the post order traversal we know that the last node is the root okay so you can just like do exactly the same thing that we did in the previous slide but you go from right to left instead of going from left to right so here so we know that one is the root okay one is the root right and in the in order traversal one is here right in in order we have left node right so we know that four eight two and five are going to be to its left it's going to be in the right in the left subtree of one and six three seven are going to be to the right of it okay now we're going to do exactly the same thing for this left subtree okay in this left subtree we have four eight two five right so we have four eight two five here eight four five two in the post order sequence which one do you think it's the root of this subtree right if we go from the right we hit two first right so two it's going to be the um <clears throat> root of this subtree okay and again we can look at this in order sequence right so four and eight are to its left so we're going to be on the left side and five it's to its right so it's going to be its right child right and then we go we do the same thing again for the left subtree of two and this is going to go on this is going to go on okay uh, so in the implementation, it's going to be uh, similar to what we had in the previous slide. Just like remember that like instead of going from left to right, we go from right to left. Um, now, if you only have pre-order and post-order, um, we, um, we cannot construct a unique... Um, or like a, a binary tree from only having pre-order and post-order traversal okay um, but we can just like have a unique full binary tree okay okay um, or a complete binary tree okay so this is basically how we can construct that this is like should be sorry should be like um, complete not full right um so like if we have the pre-order traversal and the post-order traversal okay so and pre the leftmost element is the root of the tree right so like one is the root of the tree and here like one is the root of the tree okay since the tree is full and array size is more than one the value next to one in pre must be the left child right because we know that it's full right it's a binary tree it's full should have like and like we have like more than one element so like it's just like the one to its left has to be uh, sorry the one <clears throat> the value next to one in pre must be left child of root so we know that um we know that um, one is the root and two is its left child. 
right so we can find like where two is in the post order now okay how to find all the nodes in the left subtree we know that two is the root of all the nodes in the left subtree so we know that okay we know that two is the left child of one and we know that so like it's gonna be the the root of um, the subtree left subtree of one right so if we go to the post order we, we can find two right we know that this is the root for uh, <clears throat> all the subtrees of all the left left subtree of uh, one so we know that eight nine four five two are going to be on the left side of one and six seven three are going to be on the right side and we're going to continue this again recursively right so we find the root which was two right and we continue doing that right we continue doing that until we finish it okay so we get to the following three it's not full but it's complete okay um this is again like showing you the c plus plus implementation of this example how we can construct a full binary tree if we have the pre and post order sequences right so like this is like how you can do it um here like i'm like doing this like using pointers so you can see like how this can be done I want you to um like first have a try at it yourself have at it yourself and see like if you can do it if not then like like make sure like to check these examples that are provided here i uh, also like these examples are provided like from the links here like you can just go through them to get more information as well that's all i wanted to mention for traversal of a binary tree i hope um, that makes sense and um, we're going to continue with the binary search tree next.